Today we will be discussing this particular problem. So in this particular problem as you can see we have three squares. So this particular ones and each of these squares has a side length of unity. Now this problem asks you to find the sum of these three angles that is the sum of alpha, beta and gamma. So this particular problem can be solved in many ways and among them the most three basic ones are using the trigonometric formulas the second one can be the construction and angle chasing and the third one can be the complex numbers so in this particular video we will be only seeing the second and third ones so let's see how to do this let's see for the first square so for the first square as you can see the line is actually a diagonal so this means that gamma must be 45 degree i hope this particular point is clear now let's draw the remaining diagram like this now how can i find the value of the beta so to find the value of beta what i will do i will construct a special thing so what i will do i will reflect the whole system with respect to the upper line like this and so that particular angle is beta and again i will reflect not reflect actually i will rotate and slide it to reach this particular diagram as you can see so this particular diagram i have marked out some the angles which i already know now what will be the value of the upper angle that is this one so as you can see for that particular triangle i have a 90 degree angle so that particular angle must be 90 degree minus beta so let me write it down here now what about the angle which is in between 90 minus beta and beta that is this particular angle so that the sum of those three angles must be 180 degree so that means that the angle in between the region is 90 degree so i hope up to this point everything is clear now what i will do i will draw the line which creates the angle alpha So this particular line actually creates a triangle with a 90 degree angle. So for this particular triangle, as I have created this triangle by rotating one particular shape, so two sides of this particular triangle, these two are actually equal in length. So that means their opposing angle must be equal. So from this particular fact, we can say that one of these two angles, each of these two angles have a value of 45 degree. So that means this particular angle is actually 45 degree. So let me write it down there. Yes. So now, as you can see, that any particular angle of a square is 90 degree. So this means that alpha plus beta plus 45 degree equals to 90 degree. Now, as you can see, that actually the 45 degree is actually the value of gamma. So I can replace 45 degree by gamma and we will have alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to 90 degree. So this is this particular method, but this is only useful if you don't know trigonometry or complex number. Let's see much more elegant method to solve this particular problem. So we know from complex analysis that any number can be written in the 2D plane as x plus i y or equals to r e to the power i. So let's remember what these things mean. So suppose I have a point in the coordinate plane or a Cartesian plane and whose coordinate is x y then in the polar form it is r e to the power i theta where r is the length of that particular vector or distance from the origin and theta is the angle between that particular vector and the positive axis. Remember the positive axis. This particular thing is important. So now let's uh, draw this particular plane such that I can redraw my problems diagram. So this is my plane now. And uh, let's draw our problem diagram once again, that is the squares. And remember in this particular diagram, each of these blue lines are actually 0.5 unit apart. So these particular cubes have squares have a length of 1 unit. So first let me draw this particular vector, that is the first one, which creates the gamma angle. So that particular point creates the angle gamma. Now, as I know that two of these opposing lines are actually equal, which are parallel to x-axis. So, this means that these two angles are also equal. So, that particular angle is also gamma. 
So if it is true, then this particular vector is creating an angle of pi plus gamma with the positive x direction. So I can write it like because its coordinate is minus one minus one. So I hope this particular thing is clear. Now for the other two points, I can do exactly the same. So if I do exactly the same thing, then I can write also exactly the same things using the coordinate of each of these points. So let me write down those. Two more expressions. So these are the expressions. So I hope it is clear why there is a plus pi with this particular angle. So now I need to find the sum of the alpha plus beta plus gamma, right? So I have to find the sum of these three angles. So I can multiply these numbers because by multiplying the exponents sum it up. Uh, so this is the equation, and e to the power three pi i is taken common. And that particular value is equals to minus one, so the equation reduces to this. Now remember, see that the left hand side is actually a pure imaginary number. So to make the right hand side equals to the left hand side, I must make the cos of alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to zero. And if it is so, then the sum of the angles are equal to pi by two, and this is the solution. So I hope it is clear, and uh, this is all for today. So see you next time.